What's up, Internet? We did a video a few months ago regarding yung experience namin sa returns and warranty. Sino ba yung mga brands na may mga items na may madalas masira? Looking at you, Core Liquid 240R. Or sino ba yung mga brands na kung may masira nga, okay naman yung RMA process nila. Mabilis ma-process, okay ka usap. Mukhang marami na tulungan yung video na yun, but this time we decided we can do even better. Dati kasi, in general lang namin kunento, o oh, itong brand na to, okay, or itong brand na to, medyo madalas masira. For this video, hinalungkot talaga namin lahat ng sales data namin. Four years worth of sales and RMA, of items bought, of customer complaints, at tinali talaga namin. For example, nakabili na kami ng over 600 Seasonic PSUs, more than 100 MSI GPUs, more than 400 Corsair PSUs. Daan-daan namin mga items na nabili na. And ilan ba yun, bumalik sa amin. Ilan ba yun na kailangan ipa-RMA. Ito yung true test of a brand. Hindi yung mga chismis, kwento-kwento lang sa Facebook na, oh, okay oh, itong brand na to, ito hindi. This is based on real hard data. Out of hundreds of items, sino yung mga winner, sino yung mga bulok. And actually, sobrang galing. May ibang brands kami, may ibang items na Kahit ilang daan na, ilang hundreds of items sold, may mga flawless pa rin. Wala pang bumabalik. Pero bago nun, siguradong hindi masisira yung Windows keys ng sponsor natin. Bibili ka ng PC, kung saan ka kailangan ng Windows. Pero saan ka kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, ito. Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com. Madali lang ang order. Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished! May legit working CD key ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin lang aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com Let's start with everybody's favorite component, GPUs, and our primary supplier for GPUs is either MSI or Gigabyte. Starting with MSI, we've sold 129 MSI GPUs. Kasama na yung NVIDIA, kasama na yung AMD doon. And you know how many have failed? Dalawa lang. That's a failure rate of 1.5%. Sobrang liit lang nun. Very good. For those of you wondering na, eh bakit may nasira pa? Wala talagang brand na 100%. Or, meron actually later in the video, but we're saying na wala talagang perfect all of the time. And 1.5% is already quite good for GPUs. Kumpara mo yung failure rate ni Gigabyte. Again, one of the primary brands that we sell for GPUs. For Gigabyte, we've sold even more. We've sold 141 Gigabyte GPUs and 7 have failed. That's a failure rate of around 5%. Much higher, noticeably higher, kumpara dun sa MSI. We still carry Gigabyte GPUs. Usually, maasahan mo yung performance nila, and their price is usually better than MSI. Yun nga, kung malas mo lang na kasama ka dun sa 5% failure rate, mabilis naman ka usap yung brand, and perhaps you should consider getting the GPU from a store na alam mo na no BS warranty. A store like Hardware Sugar. Moving on to motherboards, we have the same two principal suppliers, MSI and Gigabyte. For MSI, we've sold a whopping 417 motherboards with a failure rate of 10. So that's a failure rate of around 2.4%. Still very good. And MSI really is one of our principal go-to brands para sa mga motherboards. Maasahan mo sila. Moving on to Gigabyte, we've sold slightly less but still a lot. We've sold 388 Gigabyte motherboards. Yung nga, iba-ibang form factor for Intel, for AMD. Yung total na yung 388. Yung nasira lang dun, pito lang. That's a failure rate of around 1.8%. So lower than the MSI rate, both MSI and Gigabyte motherboards have a very low failure rate. Personally, I do like Gigabyte for their motherboards. In my personal experience, at ginagamit ko rin to sa personal rig ko, Gigabyte yung mobo ko. And that seems to have been borne out by our shop data. Mas konti talaga yung nasisira na Gigabyte motherboards. But both brands, 1.8%, 2.4%, even that small difference, actually margin of error na lang yan. Both MSI and Gigabyte, based on our data, you can rely on them for motherboards. Moving on to a component, hindi mo talaga dapat tipirin. For PSUs, you should really try to get quality. And Corsair is a well-known brand, but do they live up to their reputation? 
we've sold 451 Corsair PSUs. Only one has come back. Isa lang yung failure rate niya. That's a failure rate of 0.22%. So say what you will about Corsair, hindi naman sila gumagawa ng sarili nilang PSUs. They just have somebody else manufacture it and then brand it as their own. But whatever their quality control is, iba-ibang models to ah. Yung 451 na yan spans a large spectrum of their product range from their CVs, their RMs, their HXs. And only one has come back. So, medyo mahal si Corsair, pero maasahan mo siya. Next brand is Deep Cool. Itong Deep Cool, actually, we've only sold one particular model, not this one. Yung DQ750 WM2 or something like that. We did a review video on it. Ililink ko dito. But we like that PSU so much na we started carrying it in the shop. And dun mo malalaman na tuna yung yung mga reviews namin. <laughs> Kasi ginagamit talaga namin in the shop after if we really like the item. And for the DQ, we haven't sold a lot relatively. Pero medyo marami-raman na din. We've sold 46. You know how many have come back? None. Zero. Flawless. Ito yung first product na may mention ko sa video na to na spotless yung record. Wala pang bumabalik sa amin. Granted, 46 is not a large sample size. Mas maliit siya compared to the other brands and other products that we've talked about. But definitely, so far, so good. And I'm really impressed actually with the quality of the Deep Cool PSU. Especially kasi mas mura siya. Yun yung maganda finding brands na hindi pa ganun kasikat. Sikat naman si Deep Cool, but for other products, not really for PSUs yet. Yun yung mga tinatawag mong diamonds in the rough, or yung mga secret brands na sobrang okay yung quality, pero since hindi pa sila ganun kakilala, medyo mababa pa yung price. And that fits perfectly the DQ Deep Cool PSU. Flawless so far. No blemish on its record. Moving on to Cooler Master. Cooler Master is another brand that we like to carry for PSUs kasi hindi pa sila ganun kasikat for PSUs pero medyo okay actually yung quality and the price is usually good. Although in the past three months, tumaas na rin yung presyo ng mga to which is a bit concerning. But anyway, we've sold 157 Cooler Master PSUs only three have come back and that's a failure rate of around 2%. Still very decent. Malayong malayo dun sa 0.22% failure rate ni Corsair. Pero Corsair naman talaga yun. 2% uh, failure rate is generally, you know, not, not too bad. And so, we still recommend Cooler Master PSUs. Especially kung machempohan mo na okay yung price. Finally, we've saved the best for last or at least yung pinakasikat for last. Si Sonic is right up there with Corsair in terms of brand awareness and yung image ng mga tao na reliable ba siya. And it's our most popular PSU brand. Nakabenta na kami nung 644 Seasonic PSUs. Of those 644 PSUs, only 12 have come back and that's a failure rate of 1.8%. Nagulat ako dito. I mean, 644 PSUs is a staggering number, at least to me. Well, four years na rin in Operation Hardware Sugar. 1.8% is actually a very good failure rate. Although, as I mentioned in the previous warranty video, si C Sonic medyo maganda nga yung reputation niya, but we find them to be a little shaky. And the 1.8% failure rate does kind of reflect that. I mean, malayo siya dun sa failure rate ni Corsair, for example. So, still a quality brand, and definitely we still carry it. Actually, we dove even further into the data. Kasi napansin namin, based on our experience, as well as yung rene report ng mga customers namin, yung mga bumili from outside, tas nagpapa-diagnostics sa amin, because we do do that also. Kung may problema yung computer mo, you can bring it to us. We can try to diagnose it kung hardware ba yung problem or software. So napansin namin na, in particular, itong model na to, yung S12 III, maraming nagkaka-problema dito. So nag-deep dive talaga kami sa data. Inisip namin, what if we remove just the sales of this S12 III? Gaganda ba yung failure rate or kumbaga bababa ba yung failure rate kung tinanggal lang natin tong S12 III? Ito ba nagpapabigat sa Seasonic? Is it bringing down the score of Seasonic? So out of those 644 Seasonic PSUs, 137 of those S12 III yung nabenta namin. And out of that 137, dalawa lang nag-fail. So that's a failure rate of 1.5% or so. Medyo in keeping with the average failure rate of Seasonic in general. So yung initial theory namin na pampabigat tong S12 III, because as other people have reported in the comments, hindi si Seasonic yung gumagawa nitong PSU na to. Someone else makes it and then Seasonic rebrands it as their own. 
But based on the data, that doesn't seem to be the case. The failure rates of S12 III seem to be generally in line with the failure rates of the other Seasonic models. Seasonic is still a good brand, but considering its reputation in the marketplace, and nabangit ko nga to last video, we're a bit surprised na medyo mataas yung failure rates compared to the high status we normally or I usually associate with Seasonic. Moving on to cooling, sikat na sikat ngayon yung mga AIOs or ito yung mga water cooler na madaling i-install, all-in-one na siya. But a lot of people are still concerned, especially kung nag-build ka dati tapos bago lang tong AIO for you. Inisip mo, good idea ba yun? Papasok mo yung isang component na may water along with all of your other expensive components, yung CPU, yung GPU, kung mabasa yan, game over na yan. So we do get customers concerned about leaks, okay ba yung mga AIOs? Let's take a look. And one of our popular brands is NZXT. Ito yung most popular brand namin for AIOs. We've sold over 154 NZXT AIOs. At makita mo naman kung bakit. I mean, sikat yung NZXT for okay in performance, pero in particular yung aesthetic nila. Sobrang linis, sobrang ganda. And they have that LCD screen with the Z series. Although, si hindi sila yung unang naglagay ng LCD screen sa AIO. I think that honor belongs to ASUS. But anyway, NZXT AIOs are very popular. 154 sold, 6 have come back. So that's a failure rate of around 4% which is a little high. But to be clear, yung failure rate, hindi yung nag-leak, nag-fail lang yung pump in a lot of the cases. Sometimes it's RGB, most of the time it's pump failure. So wala namang leak. So nasira nga yung AIO, pero at least di naman nadama yung ibang parts. Well, pwede madama yung CPU <laughs> kung di mo napansin in time, tas overheat lang siya ng overheat. But at least, nothing leaked. 4% is a bit high for NGXT, tapos yung concern ko lang, at least sa atin, Medyo mabagal yung RMA process nila. Yung gusto ni NZXT, talagang pinapadala pa dun sa China. Medyo mabagal yung pag-release nung new item for replacement. So, NZXT is popular. We still do carry it in the shop. Dami nagahanap. But the failure rate is a bit high, especially compared to some of our other AIOs. For example, like the Corsair AIOs. Corsair, another, another brand na sikat for its quality and for its aesthetics. Although we haven't sold a lot of these guys, 42 lang. So yung sample size natin, not as large as some of some of the other brands of AIOs that we've sold. But out of those 42, ilang bumalik? Wala. So it's another product with a flawless track record. Wala pong bumabalik sa amin na Corsair AIO na pump failure or leak or anything like that. So yes, 42 is a smaller sample size, but definitely an impressive record. And actually, ito yung dream AIO ko. I currently have an NGXT AIO, pero second hand. And if I were to upgrade, I really do like the aesthetic. And the performance is quite good also, of course, their AIOs. And yung nga, reliability, so far, 100% sila. But both of these brands, NGXT and Corsair, medyo mahal. Which brings us to Deep Cool. Yung maganda sa Deep Cool, reliable AIO brand and very good performance. If you've been looking at our reviews, we've done a bunch of reviews of the Deep Cool AIOs, LS series, LT series, even their older series. Sobrang ganda talaga ng performance nila at a very good price. And one reason for that is this is a custom pump design. Yung Deep Cool mismo nag-design and gumagawa ng pumps nila compared to NZXT and Corsair where they have to license. They just get another company's pump, they license it, and then they produce it as their own. Yung Deepcool talaga, in-house yung pump nila. And for Deepcool AIOs, you, we've sold 149. So, sobrang lapit na lang malalampasan na niya yung NZXT tally namin. Out of those 149, ilang bumalik? Wala. Zero. Another flawless product. It's kind of amazing. 149, wala pang bumabalik sa amin. And when we get a Deepcool AIO, and we review it, the performance is there, and we can reliably say na talagang quality siya. Yun nga, based on our data, na na namin 149, wala pang bumabalik ni isa. So, props to Deep Cool. And again, the value proposition is just so good. Performance is great, price is also great. So, there are a lot of AIO brands on the market, pero yung takeaway dito, hindi kailangan sobrang mahal para maganda yung performance. Hindi kailangan sobrang mahal para maasahan mo talaga siya. Coming up on our last two categories, and the second to the last category is RAM. Our best seller is G-Skill. Nabanggit ko actually sa last video na medyo I find the failure rate of G-Skill a bit high. Quality brand nga siya, 
yung perception ko, it should fail less than what we were seeing. Although, mali yung impression ko na yun. Based on the data, actually sobrang baba nung failure rate ng G-Skill. And that's what's nice about actually diving into the data. Yun nga, hindi tayo puro assumption lang, puro impression. It's hard to argue with the numbers. We've sold 601 G-Skill RAM kits and only 4 have come back. That's a failure rate of 0.66%. Less than 1% yung failure rate ng G-Skill. So I have to say sorry to the brand. Uh, yung nga, last video na bangit ko na feeling ko parang medyo mataas siya for what it should be. But I'm eating crow now based on the data. 0.66%, less than 1% is an excellent failure rate. Again, it's hard for me to imagine uh, more than 600 kits na namin na benta of G-Skill. But the numbers don't lie and props to the brand. Excellent failure rate. G-Skill though is a bit expensive, so we do carry a lot of team group RAMs as well. Team Group is usually a better value option. They're generally cheaper and the performance is also good. When you say it's cheaper, a lot of people wonder. Yung automatic na reaction is, ah, baka hindi ganun kaganda kasi mas mura. We've sold 179 Team Group RAM kits and only two have come back. That's a failure rate of 1% or so. That's a very excellent failure rate. Maasahan mo naman si Team Group, even though it's generally cheaper than G-Skill. So these are our two best-selling brands and it's nice to see na pareho silang mababa yung failure rate. You have a more expensive option and you have a more affordable option. But both of them are both very good options. Last category natin is NVMe SSDs. Quite a popular option dito sa shop because they're faster than SATA SSDs. Diretso na sila sa motherboard and they're smaller. So they have a wide variety of advantages over different kinds of SSDs. Yung pinaka-popular na brand is for sure Samsung. Mahal yung Samsung. <laughs> There's no going around it. Expensive talaga siya. But we've sold 257 Samsung SSDs that covers both SATA and NVMEs. Ilang bumalik? Wala pa. <laughs> Ni isang Samsung drive bumalik sa amin. So another flawless failure rate. Zero percent. Wala pang bumabalik sa amin. And you know, I mentioned before na mahal yung Samsung, it's true, but you really pay for what you're getting for. Speed, reliability, Samsung SSDs can't be beat, basically. Yun yung perception ng brand on the market, yun din yung nakikita natin based on our sales data. Out of 257, none have come back. But if you're looking for a more budget option, we also sell a lot of Team Group and VME SSDs. And we like Team Group because they're reliable at a much cheaper price than Samsung. And they are quite popular in the shop. The sales rate is also quite high. We've sold 243 Team Group SSDs. Only three have come back. That's a failure rate of 1.2%. Very minimal. Kaya nagulat nga ako dun sa comments ng previous video. May isa nagsabi na di siya naniniwala sa Team Group. Yung nga budget siya, palagi na sisira. And again, that's not what we see in our data. And palagi kong inuulit sa video na to, yun yung maganda sa approach na to because it's hard to argue with data. Ito yung numbers namin. Ito yung mga nabenta namin, ito yung mga bumalik. And it's not like we make the warranties hard. Alam mo dito sa hardware sugar, no BS warranty. Kung sira talaga yung item na nabenta namin sa'yo, talagang papalitan namin yan, either brand new or we're gonna find some way to replace it. So we don't make the warranty process hard. If anything, dapat mas mataas pa nga yung return rate sa amin kasi hindi namin pinapahirapan si customer. And yet, in spite of na madali lang magbalik sa amin, mababa pa rin yung failure rate ni Team Group. And yun nga, yung other flawless brands, other flawless components that I've mentioned. For sure, may limitations of the study. Baka may mga items na nasira na hindi na binalik sa amin. E baka inisip out of warranty na or tinatamad lang. For sure, hindi pa to 100% accurate yung failure rates na rin report namin. But based on the best that we can do, the based on how we can collate and gather and analyze the data, ito yung mga different brands and ito yung different failure rates. I hope nakatulong to in determining, yun nga, ano bang brand okay for GPU? Ano bang brand okay for... NVMEs. I'm sure marami mong tatanong sa comments, but hindi kasama si Kingston sa RAM? but hindi kasama si Palit sa GPUs? but hindi kasama si ASRock sa motherboards? Because we don't have the data, guys. <laughs> yung nga, data-driven tayo. I've only included here yung mga brands na may significant sample size tayo. Yes, we sell Palit. Yes, we sell Zotac. Yes, we sell a lot of different brands. Pero unfair naman i-include yun kung, let's say, 
20 lang nabenta namin na AIO. Tapos out of that, two bumalik. I mean, that's not a good sample size. It will skew the failure rates pataas. So para patas talaga yung laban, we only included brands that we have a very good sample size to show. And yun nga, I hope nakatulong sa inyo. But whatever brand you buy, again, be sure to get it from a store that is reliable and that hindi ka papahirapan sa warranty. And if you've been watching our videos, you know which store that is. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.